So thank you, Mohammed, to allow me to uh, uh, do a follow up and show the audience what uh, uh, ten months look like. And uh, he was kind enough to come month to month. And I'm gonna show the audience what uh, he looked like before. And, and that's where he was. Okay. And uh, this is before surgery, and you can see that. And but you see, this is, and then this is after ten months later, his handsome face come out because now he has volume and density. But what separate my work from a lot of other clinics is not just about volume and density. There's artistry behind it. You see how I dip down the hairline, slightly curve on top, and you see a nice zigzag. It's beautiful hairline, and it really frames the face better, making giving back his handsome look, and too. But here you look older. And here, let's talk about the side view too. You see, we slightly curve up and feel the front to the back and all stuff. But look at that, that's beautiful. And same thing here. And you see, that's where now. Before I, I'm gonna turn the uh, audience to uh, uh, Mohammed and he can share his experience to the audience. Go ahead. Yeah, hi. So I started Luther about 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. At the beginning, I got my hair so like, wavy. It didn't really show, but uh, yeah, it depends. You see, I lose, start to lose hair. And it's just more and more and more and more until I basically lose everything in the middle. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit at the front and a little like a band here. Everything is gone. Mm -hmm. And then uh, my wife actually said, how about, you can think about doing a surgery. Yeah. But I always very really suspicious about surgery because like, uh, in my family, many people lose, almost most people lose, lose lost their hair, and they all do surgery uh, in uh, not in the U.S. in other countries, and they just either they get no result at all. Like my uncle did it, he <laughs> he did a hair transplant, and uh, it's much cheaper, obviously, but he he went through so much pain, and he got nothing. My cousin did it. He said he did it in three days. I don't know how I can do a hair transplant in three days, mm. but he did it in three days. And he gets some results, but it's just like so thin. It's like one hair is here, you know, it's like just very, very thin. You can, very sparse, you can, huh? Yeah, you can see the hair. I'm like, I'm like, okay, this is a hair transplant. I don't know. I don't want to go through so much pain and get this result. And no artistry as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just like looks so weird. It's like a bunch of hair. I'm like, okay, <laughs> you'd rather not do it. Uh -huh. And. But my wife mostly did the research, to be honest, and then he found Dr. Deep. And then we watched YouTube video, we, did re we reviewed, and we also talked to Dr. Deep. So we, we sent photo, and we were thinking to do the FUE method. And uh, mm -hmm. the doctor was upfront to us, and he said, you cannot actually do it. You have a complete hair loss. And uh, so you need to do the FUT method. Mm -hmm. And you cannot also do it in one surgery. It, it's just way too many hair. Mm -hmm. But yeah, he, he said you can maybe two and might be three. You can we can finish it. So I like that that the doctor was upfront to me. So I did mm -hmm. not have any surprise. Oh, I come. I'm not. <laughs> <you're> not <laughs> <laughs> can you share your experience on surgery day yeah, and the so, recovery? Yeah, on the surgery day, uh, it all happened in one day. So I have not three days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just one day, one day. But it's a very long day. Yeah, long day. It's a long day. Do you I remember what time we start? Oh, I was here, I, 6 a.m. I was here. Yeah. I think it's about 6.30, but... 5, 5.30. I, yeah, yeah, something really, really early. Uh -huh. And, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it was a whole day of surgery. Mm -hmm. The first half, I don't really remember. I think I was just too tired, I was sleeping. Good. <laughs> the second half, I remember, I wake up, and I was just, I eat lunch, and I was just lying down watching TV. Uh-huh. And I think I was here until 7 p.m. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, the, the doctor told me, do not drive. I do not drive, so I take a Uber back. Uh, everybody told me, you're going to go through so much pain. And uh, also, I got uh, from painkiller, actually. Uh -huh. And I got the painkillers. And uh -huh. the painkillers make you a little bit sleepy and drowsy. But... I did not actually have any pain. <laughs> well, that's a good experience. Yeah, right? yeah. So I contact the office. I said, you know, these things make me drowsy. And I don't have pain. Should I, if you take them, they say, no, you don't have to. If it's not. So that was a super surprising. So you go to a surgery and you go back home. You actually don't have much pain. A little bit, of course, you have a little bit. You, mean, you, uh -huh. make it, you fix your teeth, you have a little bit of pain, but not just a little bit. So mm -hmm. I did not, I stopped taking the painkillers. Mm -hmm. uh, but one thing that happened to me was that 
uh, my face a little bit like swollen. Whoa, yeah, a little yeah. bit. And you know, it was <laughs> looking a little bit funny. But that lasts about 24 hours, and it would it go away. Yeah. So that was the only side effect for me. So oh, good. <clears throat> On average, I'll tell you, um, the peak is three or four days, and then disappear by seven days. But some patient, um, I would give them high dose of steroids, so it lasts just one or two days. Mm -hmm. and then disappear. So it varies from one individual to another, but for sure it, it disappeared by seven days. So that's good for yeah. yours. So you have good recovery. Yes. So, okay, great. So w when does the hair start to regrow for you uh -huh. and full density? But you see, we did month to month, so we kind of yeah. see yeah. three yeah. or four months, right? Yeah. Well, why don't you share yeah. that with the audience? So uh, one of the uh, procedures was after surgery, there is some gap, some blood, so, uh -huh. so you need to kind of Get rid uh -huh. of them. Uh -huh. So those when you touch them, those hair would fall. So I would say those transparent hair, some fall, some do not fall. Uh -huh. And those that did not fall actually start to grow right away. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> like by two months, those, but they're not all your hair yeah. because some of them fall. Uh -huh. I think by about two months for me they start to grow. But uh -huh. there's no hairline after two months, but they start to grow. Uh -huh. I think by three months I start to see some results. Uh -huh. Some results uh -huh. still obviously no hairline. Yeah, yeah. But I think by about Five months, by about four actually, uh. four to four and a half. Uh. I'm not bald anymore. Yeah. So I have a hairline, but about four months, uh. and it just go more and more and more and more. More there. density. More right. density. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. then now, now you're like ten months. Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. How did it make you feel now? Yeah, it's uh, it's a very interesting experience. So because it happened actually during the time that everybody in the office was work from home, so they did not see me, uh -huh. and I did not they did not tell anybody. Uh -huh. uh, so they see me the, for the first time after a few months ever after the company opened up and they, they were like, huh, there is something different. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, here, there is something. Because they also have not seen each other for about two years. Uh -huh. And they say, yeah, what is different? They say, yeah, there was no hair and now there is this. I'm like, yes. <laughs> so what has happened? And they're like, I don't know. They say, it's hair transplant. <laughs> so these are the hair that come from back to the front. And uh -huh. I'm like, oh, okay. Uh -huh. But the hairline, uh, one more thing that I would say is pretty good for me is that it looks very natural. Uh -huh. So it's like, let's say for my cousin that he get actually some result is that it looked very, it looked like a ruler in like a straight line. Yeah, yeah. And that looks fake. That doesn't uh -huh. look nice. Yeah. On top of that, he uh -huh. has lost most of it. Uh -huh. So, yeah. I mean, for my uncle, he has nothing. <laughs> okay. He just go back to where he started. Yeah. So it looks pretty uh -huh. natural. So people cannot believe that actually this is not, this is like a, uh, yeah, okay. this is, this uh -huh. is a hair transplant. Uh -huh. So it's like, yeah, you just look, lost hair. You didn't lost it. No, this is, this is, this is not how my hair looks like. Good, yeah. But again, you, you're correct. Uh, n you know, the, for me, uh, and I focus heavily on the artistry, the hairline, and I, in all my video, as I mentioned, you, you need both an artist and a surgeon to give you the best result. And, you know, as I mentioned, that uh, I came from an art background before I become a surgeon, really. And I pride myself in, in creating the most natural hairline for patients. It's not like our grandfather or our father hair transplant day where they say, you should be happy just to have hair. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, having hair is not good enough. You want to have hair that looks so natural that you walk down the street, no one knows you have had surgery, right? And, uh, but you, you want to, but you, when you do hair transplant, not just having hair, but you want to have hairline that frame the face better and bring out your handsome look um, as well um, because you know I understand the idea of mature hairline but it shouldn't be high and half of your head and you got a big huge forehead that's not how it should be Mohammed is really kind enough for allowing me to show the audience that hair transplant can work you gotta be patient and then he came month to month and he was diligent enough to um, show the audience that if you follow month to month you can see the density not just for him density you see the volume the hair growing more and more I'm very happy for him, um, you know, his wife was, I think his wife actually, she's the one who kick-started for us and, <laughs> yeah. and, and, and said you should get some hair transplant and he's lucky for that and then he took over and they both did research together They make a decision on my work and not just about because of my great reputation online and stuff but they saw a lot of my work, uh, my uh, masterpiece, my work of the before and after and so now uh, Mohammed is on the other side 
and you know on the video <laughs> you know instead of watching he's on the video and he want to repay that mm -hmm. yeah and he want to help other guy right yeah 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 it's good, it's good to people to kind of expect what's happening so a lot of people like after two months and they lose the hair I mean they got scared hair. right oh what happened <laughs> <laughs> okay no no relax it's gonna come back at four or five. Oh, six months yeah six, yeah and we did the a cell two injection yeah, too yeah. yeah and 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 that helps a lot too um, uh, and you know I find out a cell um, if, if you look at the uh, the study by the NIH by the government um, you know actually it's a pretty legit study it with the uh, a cell with the third degree burn and uh, it helped you know the third degree burn some people uh, were using a cell help regrow um, uh, with the mesh put on the skin burning it helped the hair come back and the skin come back mm -hmm. and so that very helpful with that we use a cell for healing doing surgery and it help you heal better reduce complication and make it tend to give you great hair transplant result and you get your result faster and that's what I noticed so I'm very excited please stay tuned we're gonna do 11 months 12 months and then after that Mohammed will come back once a year one every year to to show the other and say hey what's a one year look like two year look like five four five year look like and uh, and then hopefully that will help the audience um, that the journey of the personal journey that Mohammed went through and so you understand please uh, hair transplant is never about price. Okay, this is your head, your face, right, yeah. Mohammed? Yeah. And you, 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 and you have a personal yeah. experience with your relative when overseas and get it done, and not one but multiple. Yeah. And it's not. <laughs> it, it is cheaper. It won't. Yeah. I, I, I cannot lie that because in the U.S. always everything more expensive. But, but again, this is your head, this is your face. You cannot throw it away. You want to do it right to begin with, and and look at how handsome Mohammed is. Yeah. And yeah, and you have a limited hair in the back. If yes. You, if you do it, if you make a mistake, and then it's like there's not that much hair to bring to the front. Yeah, and and then and some and he brought a really good point. If you have an advanced pad pattern, and if they destroy most of your donor, even come to me at the end, we might not, you know, I might not be able to cover everything for you. But it's not just about the cost, but about the multiple years of surgery, about the. The, the pain of going through surgery and a lot of stress in life but do it do it right and then it costs you more in the long run because mm -hmm. you cut corner and go cheap guess what you're gonna pay me to fix it mm -hmm. and then it'll cost more right so anyway thank you Mohammed thank you. and then uh, for doing this and uh, we're gonna stay tuned to do 11 months follow-up thank you, thank you.